Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katerina, and I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be the 10 minute makeup challenge. This video is highly requested on my channel. Basically, we're going to see how far I can get in 10 minutes. Hopefully, I can finish it. I will have the timer going on my phone, and it's going to be a completely raw video. So, you're going to see start to finish after this intro. Start to finish, exactly in motion, no cutouts, just everything completely raw. So, I thought that would be kind of fun and interesting as well. And let's get started. So I'm just going to start and we're going. I'm not going to be really doing a tutorial on this because when I talk I tend to not be doing too much makeup. So I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me foundation and just kind of dot this all over my face. And then I'm going to blend it in with my City Color Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki. Taking what's left and then going over that. Alright, foundation is going to have to be done. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me, applying this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, just where I would highlight normally. And I apologize if my dogs bark. Again, this is going to be completely unedited, so I'm going to try and keep them from barking. And I'm blending this in with a beauty blender. I still have a little bit of some dark circles peeking through, so Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. We are at a minute 30 right now, if you were wondering. So now I'm going to set my foundation. This is Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. We're going to have some blemishes peeking through today because we don't really have time to conceal them fully. But to bronze up the skin and to contour Too Faced Chocolate Silly Bronzer. And I'm just going to use Real Techniques Blush Brush because it gives a bronze and contour kind of at the same time. You always take this under my lip as well and down the sides of my nose. And then for a little more of a glow, I'm going to use the Lorac Fake Blush in Hollywood. And I will blend all this out too towards the end. For blush, I'm using the City Color Be Matte Blush in Blackberry. A tea rose color, it's really pretty. We're at three minutes now, and I'm going to take a kabuki brush, blend everything in. I'm going to quickly highlight the face with the City Color Spotlight highlight. Alright, I'm going to try and fill in my brows real quick. This is City Color Bold Brow, and I don't usually take too much time on my brows anyways, but I just want to kind of define them a little bit so that they're not sparse. And I also like to elong elongate them a little bit too. sweating because I'm moving so fast. <laughs> Alright, brows are not on fleek today, you guys. <laughs> We're at 4 minutes and 16 seconds. 
So then I do want to do some of my eyes. I'm going to take this Lorac um, Summer Glow Palette just because it has a matte shade that I really like. This little guy right here. And I'll put this all over my lid. I'm also going to set my under eyes with this. Because it's kind of a peachy color so it does kind of help brighten it as well. And then I do want to add a crease shade just to add some more definition. So I'm going to use the Milani Bella Rose Eyeshadow in Bella Cappuccino. Large fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to pop this in my crease. A bronzer would work perfectly for this step as well because again I just want a tiny bit of dimension. What time are we at? We're at 5 minutes. We're halfway there. I also want to take this on the lower lash line just to kind of even out my eyes. This video is going to be really easy to edit, that's for sure. Just got to do the intro and outro. Then I want to curl my lashes. I don't wear eyeliner on a typical basis, so there's no reason for me to wear it today. I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara and apply this very generously on my lashes. Okay, now for lips. I want to, what are we at? No. We are at 648. So I want to conceal them really quick so we can get the true color of our lipstick. And I'm going to first line them with my favorite lip liner. This is Raisin from Elf, Elf Cosmetics. Um, it's their mineral lip liner. Just really lightly lining my lips. Over top of that, I'm going to put, this is like, like you can see, one of my favorite lipsticks. This is in the shade Power. It's a NYX round lipstick. Strange to say that this is like a comfortable color for me because it's like a grayish purple. <laughs> but I really like it. And then over top, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And that's pretty much it, but right now we are at 7.58. We have two minutes left, so I'm going to conceal Bob. This is Bob right here. I mentioned him in my last video, or introduced him, and he will not go away. He finally flattened out, but he's still just really red, so I'm going to try and conceal him a little bit. Nope, not going to conceal. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. My eyebrows are really thin today. But alright you guys, so we are at 8.32. Well, it's going up now. But wow, with a minute and a half to spare, so this is what I came up with. And that was kind of fun. That was kind of cool to know. I know I can do my makeup fast when I'm like going to the grocery store running errands really quick, but I wanted to really challenge myself and still do that foundation, that concealer, the bronzer, blush, highlight, all of that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it maybe entertaining. Thank you so much you guys for watching and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Only con about this blush is that it does have 
flecks of glitter in it, and you can kind of see them. There are more chunky glitter, which all the other blushes from this line aren't like that, so I wish this wasn't like that, but it is the most beautiful, like, 